what's up guys? I uh, just want to talk to you guys today. Give a little video about uh, some of the footwork drills that I have you do in the Cube Method for Strong Man. Some of you guys had some questions about it. Some of you guys didn't have uh, some of the equipment. And some people just wonder why in the world I've got you guys doing footwork drills. Well, the reason is actually there's several reasons. And so let me go ahead and show you one of them right over here. So as you can see, uh, if you're in Strong Man, there's no getting around it. You're going to have to do some footwork. You're going to be moving in some of the events. I can tell you right now, first off, that I have won some events because I was just quicker between implements, between stones. For instance, here we have a stone load. Okay, so after you load a stone, watch the feet. They're shuffled to the next stone. Now that might seem like something that's small, but you can shave off seconds. Uh, just by being a little bit quicker. Also, over here, like if you're doing a medley, for instance, whenever you're coming up to a sandbag, let's say you're running up to it, you got to run over here. The quicker you can get around and get your feet around and move your feet, the better off you're going to be, the faster the time you're going to have. Now that's just one of the reasons, maybe the most important one. But also, a lot of guys, as they gain weight, as they get bigger, as they get stronger, in strongman, uh, they lose their agility. They lose their quickness. They start to get, find it really, really hard to move around. We don't ever want to be that way. We always want to be as quick as we can. Remember, we're trying to become the ultimate strength athlete. We're trying to be the best all-around strongman we can be. The other reason, as we walk back over here to the ladder, the other reason is that it's active recovery. So after you've done your legs, after you've trained squats, after you've bombed that stuff, then Taking this day to do some ladder drills and some footwork drills is gonna help you recover. You're gonna feel a lot better throughout the rest of the week. And this is low impact. This isn't doing something that's gonna really blast your joints. It's not gonna destroy you. It's just moving your feet. So you're just getting some blood work in there. So here's some drills, all right? So we have a ladder here. Now this ladder is actually smaller than a typical ladder that you use here at, the, here at the gym. It's pretty small, so it's even harder uh, for me to get my feet in each square. I think a, right, a typical one is like 18 inches. This is a lot smaller than that, so it's really tough to get my feet in here. Makes it even harder, makes me work even better uh, on this. Typically, you'd want these squares to be a little bit bigger, but just to show you just a quick few drills, guys. Uh, the first one is actually the toughest one for me, at least is uh, just going in each, each square uh, with both feet. And you're just going straight through, okay? So it's something like this, okay? And then you can speed up as you get used to it, okay? You can just come back and do the same thing. Uh, also, there's a drill where you're going one foot in and then taking the foot out and just moving up each rung as you go, something like this. So it'll be like that. I missed the one there, as you can see. But, you know, as long as you're working it, as long as you're getting your feet moving, then you're gonna be good. Another one is gonna be coming in with both feet, stepping out, planting, coming back in, across, and again out here, going back and forth, something like this. Okay, so, just do it slow, start off slow, get used to it. Uh, there's some other drills here. Uh, for instance, just going sideways. Both feet in each square, if you go like this. Come in here. Yeah, see, I messed up already, but you get the idea. Uh, as you go, you'll get better and better at it. Start to figure it out. Now, some of you guys say, well, and that's just a few of the drills you can do. Some people, they're like, okay, I don't have a ladder. Guys, no problem. Look, make it simple. Find a way to get a ladder. You know, like you can do stuff just as easy as this. Get some chalk, guys. It's really not hard. Draw out the ladder here, 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 and all the way down. Just do something and get used to it so that you can see uh, have some kind of ladder, something to do, or if you're able to, you can get some spray paint. 
great thing of a ladder. Really not that difficult, guys. You're gonna figure out some way to make a ladder. If you still can't do all of that, guys, look, no problem. Just do some kind of footwork drills. For instance, ladder drill, or a cone drill, excuse me. Do some, uh, sh do a shuttle drill. Run from here, touch this cone. Here, sprint all the way back. Or drill a story, come around the back. I mean, just find something to work. Your footwork, to work your agility, get some active recovery in, get some blood flowing, and keeping your body moving as you get bigger, as you get stronger. Guys, stick with this kind of stuff. It will make you a more complete strength athlete. It'll make you the best strongman. You need to have maximum power. You need to have repetition strength, functional strength, speed on the events, but you also got to have good footwork and be uh, pretty good at agility. So you need to have the whole total package if you want to be the best possible strongman you can be. So guys, December 11th, hit up the uh, Cube Method for Strongman. It's coming at you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.